Stop complaining about the UK car scene. It's amazing. And I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you two different versions of an evening car meet. We're ending up here, but first, something a little bit different. Trading Japanese meat, let's go. Oh, I've, I've set the chaser's alarm off. And the dog, she set off. Should be busy today, the weather's amazing. If it's not, then this meat is dead. Here are the people. Police are patrolling all over the meat now. This is the latest I've ever arrived at this meat, which means it's already full, so maybe there is still hope. But one thing I've noticed, maybe due to the weather, the police are in a fantastic mood. They are commending the MX-5s and showing off their love for the motor vehicle. But let's do what we traditionally do and capture the cars arriving. They're doing the same. <laughs> Sign the skyline's back. I think because I'm so late, I've missed a lot. Is it gonna make a noise? Oh, it pops. Let's go inside and see what's there. From June to August should be the best three months of this meet. Normally it is, and uh, I've just been shouted at. We have an R34 GTR. Bayside Blue, not often that we get one of these at this meet anymore. Oh, in that cute family of cones. The revs and bangs are escalating. Something else is going on over there. I mean, you've got wide arches on me too. This is the entertainment that we need. We deserve this. Oh, there's flames as well. The crowd is being drawn by four cylinders. It's never happened before. Oh, it's Jack McNeil's Jazzy Jazz. Well, it's got the wrong engine and the wheels are the wrong shape. Oh, someone else is joining in. I think it's a goal far in the distance, so I can actively ignore that and film the drift. This is how they do it in Tokyo. Oh, there's an RX-7 as well with the correct engine. Also, dogs in a trolley. Oh, there's little puppies. Oh, there's a 350Z part next to me and he's revving with the people. There are community support officers over there, but they don't mind. Whoa! Whoa! This is more interesting. There's a wiggly exhaust. These chaps with pixelated faces have found a cherry picker with the key in. This gentleman does not own this cherry picker. <laughs> well, he does now. You've got the keys. So now we have an overview of the entire site. What's so funny? I should probably get down. Shall I climb onto the beetle as well? Maybe it's the same owner because they've left the ladder there. Now the news. Pops and bangs have occurred. <laughs> this tiny penis. <laughs> oh my god, that was a slide. Oh look, there's a hurricane revving and the police have arrived, but I think they're enjoying it. They're noting down number plates. Is this okay? I think it's okay. It might not be okay. Oh, it's not okay. Maybe none of that. Look, the community support officers are noting down... <laughs> Engine is off, just as the uh, crowd gather around to see what's going on. Police are now telling people off for standing around. Vibes are good, uh, cars will be leaving in a bit. Apparently there's like 10 to 12 to 20 to 50 hundred police cars in the area waiting for cars to leave. So, uh, I don't know what's going to happen there. Oh, there's the skyline. Oh. It's crowded already, Evo's left and so is the Civic, who's about to eat me. The PCOs are down there right on the entrance to write down more number plates. They don't seem overly concerned about the unmanned ladder on the Beetle. Oh, and another theme, look, the police are stopping to tell people to get off the central reservation right as an ambulance appears in the background as well, so the police are going to have to move themselves before telling people to move or they just don't curb your wheels now. Be careful. The police didn't move too much. Uh, the ambulance got through, it's fine. They look stern. Luckily, I have a safety gate. <laughs> Revolutions from the conflict. The S13 is surpassing with a V8 E36 behind. All we've got the whole evening is just motorbikes revving and uh, nothing on the road. You've got police circling the area and no one's leaving. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's proper smoky inside. Someone's running richer than you should be. I'm going to run inside too. There's still loads of bikes. Yeah. And you've got so many people still on the roadside, but barely any cars are left. Look. Lots of them are gone. Someone's exploding inside. Oh my god. These meets have changed, but luckily there's another one tomorrow night that's going to be very different to tonight's meet, so I'll catch up with you there. Oh, in the meantime, you've just got, I mean, blue lights at the exit and uh, the rest of the participants. Jack's been nicked, they're looking at the jazzy jazz. <laughs> Are you redlining it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, nice and silent and legal. It's all fine. <laughs> Police is checking out the exhaust. It used to have like Lambo style exhausts that were through the boot. I don't know if it's got a new boot. It looks like it's got a new boot. You've got Type R interior, you've got the EP3 seats on it as well. It's amongst the jazziest of all jazzes. Jack is literally revving his car for a police officer. Yeah. Yeah. In the meantime, look. New arrivals, S14s, one in baby blue, the other one white wheelie in the world. Where do these come from? The police are checking out the dogs in a pram. <laughs> Jack's had it all, all revolutions. Where, where are the police? But yeah, that was an example of one type of uh, UK car meet, but they're not all like that, as I will demonstrate tomorrow. So this next meet is very different from the first one. In a very different car. We brought the Viper along. We've also brought our dog along, so I can't really go that fast in it. Because she'll get all nervous and scared. It's oh. the farm. Is, are we going here? Ah. Is it in the farm? Oh my god, I used to go here as a kid. Did you? Look at the R8, it's slammed. Oh my god, small dog. Small dog alert. It's purple. This is the chaotic um farm I used to go to when I was a kid wow. and they just have chickens running around in the car park and you just have to like dodge to avoid running dodge chickens. to avoid them oh my god oh my god, oh my god. The donkeys. <laughs> so right. this is gonna be your first time meeting a donkey little pumpkin a reliant kitten is behind us let's preserve the fuel to get back oh my god look at you too oh, <laughs> oh she doesn't like the shit <laughs> Away, there is an extreme difference between last night's meet and tonight. Obviously, we're on grass, there's a difference, and the caliber of cars, I'm not going to say it's better, it's just more varied, more pleasurable on the eyes. One car that's caught my eye though is this Mini Clubman with the Italian livery, wide arches, yellow spotlights, new front bumper on that, even a roof scoop that does nothing. And around the rear, we have vents that don't vent, louvres on the rear windows of the Mini. an MG touring car that's turned up, road legal, it's a road car that's been converted into a touring car, and a lot of Americana, and, and an Igo. So much to tell him the entire front end of his car is on fire. This is our absolute favourite of the meet though, that is a definite. You can tell it's a very different atmosphere here because I've not really been filming that much. We've just been enjoying the beverages, seeing the sights, having some food and chatting to people. It's a very, very different aesthetic to last night's meet. So what the whole objective of this video is, is to describe how varied the UK car scene is and how if you don't like one type of meat, there are plenty of other types out there for you as well. And you join me back where we started the video with the Viper and the sun setting. So let me know, which was your favorite? 
sounds like a straight pipe six cylinder something. Um, so you have the ready Japanese meats and then this. I mean it's a prime example of the variety of the UK car scene and when I get complaints about the meats I go to, well these kind of meats I still go to but there's not really content here, it's just a nice place to take pictures, speak to people, have some food, have some drinks, show off the Viper. So I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments what you think but for now thanks for watching.